What's going on boys and girls? So we're out here, the snapper bite's slowing down. We were in a major feed that correlated somewhat with sunrise. And let me tell you, that is super effective guys. If you, if you don't know, plan your trips around that sunrise, sunset, around a major and tell me it doesn't make a difference. But once the tide started picking up, we changed our technique a little bit. We've been using two primary rigs. So the very first rig is a weighted hook. As you can see here, this is just a little mustad hook, it's weighted. But the technique's very good. When those fish are up and the, and the current is slow, it's a good idea to try to use that. This minimal tackle and gear, I mean, as, as small profile as you can do and get away with, that's what you wanna try to do because these fish have extraordinary vision. I've mentioned this several times before. But if you can go down to the bottom, visibility reduces drastically, especially in the Tampa Bay. So once the water though picks up, what we like to do is go with a knocker rig or something in that nature. For example, here, a little quarter ounce jig, and I got a little one two aught um, gamagatsu hook. It's a circle, nautilus. And we're just sending it down as light as I can get away with. These fish are very intelligent. But you also have to get a feel for them, guys. These fish are not like other fish. You have to really come out here and practice. It can be very frustrating. Some people just cannot catch them. Now, I wanna mention, if you wanna book a trip, September, October, these are some of my favorite months to fish. We're gonna be booking up fast, saltyscales.com. Go to the fishing charter tab and uh, inquire there. Send me an email, shoot a deposit. I'll put you on the calendar. We'll go catch these things. This morning look at this sunrise it's happening oh yeah chris is over here he is chumming up some of our friends trying hey. to chum them up hi chris can they even see me yeah they can see you i said we got enough light all right chris is chris is sharing his breakfast have you eaten some of that this morning nope don't plan on it come on just look take a bite for the camera I'm good. Right. This is for the fishes. This is for the fishes. Alright, so probably can't see a whole lot of that down there. But guys, we are gonna catch some bait. Today agenda is snapper and grouper. Probably primarily snapper because we forgot our shrimp at home and I wanted to catch some different baits. But we're gonna try for both. So stay tuned. They are starting to show up. We're seeing little bitty uh, trickles on the water here. You probably can't see them, but we can see them. Back on again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I was trying to record and then my GoPro wouldn't turn on. We caught a few fish, extra bait, some pinfish, ladyfish, as you can see here. Choosing a little knocker rig and uh, yeah, putting down little greenbacks and that's how we're doing it. Good times. Look, Chris has got him a ladyfish again. He's a ladyfish master. We're gonna go with the big guns right away. We got the tide switching. I'm gonna break out the Makaira. I got a lighter, lighter uh, leader on here. I'm gonna steal one of Chris's baits. For real. Look at this. You only got one. You got one opportunity. 
Look at that. Look at this right here. Stay tuned. This is about to be epicness or complete destruction. I don't know yet which one. So guys, this is the Makaira 10. Nice and compact, but boasts a whole bunch of drag. A true beast. And then this is the PCH Custom by Okuma. minutes later. Alright, uh, Chris got him another one. He said it was a good one and it came up with like six inches. Twelve. Alright boys and girls, what we're gonna do is some snapper fishing. We got some of these really small baits and they're really good for this type of fishing, if you didn't know. Tide's just now starting to trickle out and I am on. Oh my gosh! I am not on. That was a monster snapper, Chris. When I tell you that was a 17 inch fish, it kind of surprised me because the bait just hit the water. So let me get right. All right, so bait down. Just keep playing. Wait, are you using my rod? This is not your rod. Yes, it is. This is my rod. I'll bet you $500. This is my rod. I'll bet you $500. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's what I was catching them on last time, dude, and it was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, see, Chris is trying to it's say I'm... little green, uh, the little green jig on it. Chris is trying to say... You son of a... Right when I went to reach in for this ladyfish and throw him back. <sighs> Holy cow, look at the size of that snapper. It just came up. Chris is on. Decent one. Oh. Came out. Shoot, I was like, you gotta tighten that drag a little bit. Well, it was. It's actually pretty tight, bro. Well, it is the Inspiro, so. <coughs> so this jig, this, this bait is really... Oh, man. Oh, they're eating. Using my free light rod right they're now. eating like crazy, guys. This, this freaking hook Chris is using is so small, it don't even have a gap. It is a very small hook. Dude, I caught 8 of them on that last time. <laughs> and that rod is fun. That rod is fun. This is the kind, you know this is the kind of stuff, uh, fishing I like to do. Look at that, guys. A little so, porker. No, guys, I brought that rod just for this. Look at that. Oh! Chris brought that rod for me, he said. So I could, Quite the so I could break it in for him. I do like that. <laughs> I love that light stuff, man, but I know what happens when you fish this light stuff. Yeah, that's, uh, that's 1.5 on there. Oh, yeah, these snapper are fired up right now. I don't know. Chris on. Chris is on. He's coming up upside down. There you go. Oh, you let him swallow that, huh? Nah, that's right there. Look. Oh, okay. Perfecto. That's exact. Actually, guys, if there's a way you want to hook a fish, that's probably it. Unless you hook them up there, that'd be probably the best spot. That hook is not coming out, my friend. That's a sandwich. Oh, your shit just go right in the box. Yeah, bigger than all of them. That's a sandwich, though. Oh, what the? 
What was that? Well, that oh, was it's the snapper I just caught. Wow. So what do we got? Three in there? Uh, yeah. Two in the cooler, one in there. Well, that's a, uh, a good thing to know. <laughs> Give him credit. If, if he did that, hey, live free, buddy. Dang, that little fish is running like no tomorrow, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> yeah, he got that one. Oh there. no. He did get that one. He's a sandwich for sure. Thank you, sir. He ain't gonna make it, make it back? No. Got it. Who knows? Maybe he will. Though. We'll keep an eye on him. Oh. Getting nervous over there? Oh, something's got to come up and tickle him. Hey well, guys, we got a rainbow over there. I didn't suspect he would. What's up, butter fish? No. Off that so we don't break no tips that's a little better guys 14 15 inch range of course bigger is always good too measure it for them yeah i mean these little jigs work they just suck them in that's the problem with them there's no rhyme or reason why i got them they just popped up the hooks seem strong are they must add uh no they're the bass pro brand that uh the one with the sailfish? I don't know. You know an uh, outdoor world or what they call that thing? Well, they're using a pretty... There you go. Chris hooked up. Oh, it was. was. Yeah, that one's sharp, and I'm starting to think this one isn't. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm freelining here, and I'm waiting to see this line shoot off. Chris is on. Oh, Chris is you. Chris is using a knocker rig. Ooh, that was a good hit. He's small. You want me to throw him back? Yeah, if he's, if he's real small. I mean, he's, you know, he's a keeper, but he's small. That's all right. If it ain't worth flaying, then we're going to let him go. We'll let him go, let him grow. But anyway, what I was saying, guys, is that what I'm doing is I'm freelining right now, essentially, with a light weighted hook. And I'm just watching my line. And I'm waiting for it to kind of shoot off the spool. Down there, they're like, that's a different colored boat up there. Oh, I've seen that hit. Oh, that's a little better. Doubled up. Yeah, that's, that's a better one. Oh! Yep, that's a <laughs> oh, shoot. What is this thing doing to me? That's a nice fish there. Dang, about cut me off on the boat, guys. Look at that size of that snapper right there. Shit. <laughs> that's, a good one. that's that's your 16.7. That's what we wanted right there. Those are little chubbies is what we call them, guys. That's another one, yeah. Where are we at, six? Look at that. Look at that hook set too, right, right where you want it. 
Look at that. Guys, that's almost uh, three more. We got our limit. We've been here for 30. No. I mean, all of them were good. Some are just gooder than others. Don't you spine me. Some are just gooder than others. Ooh, chompy. Chompy. Yeah, it's a baby. We don't keep babies on Avenger 25. This is a no baby boat. Back down the lake. Ah. Okay, that's a different species. He's good though. We'll let him go. These guys are very good to eat actually. Um, just as good as snapper really. You just want to make sure they're big enough to get the, enough meat off of them. Chris, so Chris just got worked, guys, by that little bitty cute snapper. Hey, <laughs> it's not worked when you get them in the boat, baby. Look at the cute little thing Chris was doing right now, guys. I can't make this stuff up. You'd have had a scene that the camera was off, though. I haven't been able to bust it. Oh, little sardine. Oh, my goodness. That's my favorite. Yeah, he should go back, too. Shouldn't he? Yeah. That little thing. Oh, the way you fought him, I thought for sure that was a 24 incher. Dude, they look so mad. He's so mad right now. Why are you so mad? I'm gonna allow he bite you in the I face. Can he got me right in the nose? I'd kill him. Sushi, sashimi him? I'd be like, oh, I was gonna let you go. All right, guys, I just put down a Spanish sardine. If you don't know, Snapper cannot resist a fresh Spanish sardine. What the heck are you doing? Two minutes, less than probably more like 20. Like, oh. There he is, guys. Beautiful fish. Ow! Alright, watch it. Make sure the camera. Hey guys, what's y'all's theory? Bigger bait, bigger fish, or no? I'm gonna go with the bigger green bait. Well, the truth be told, that one wasn't a very big bait that I just used. And those barbs just went right into my hand, cut me open. Hopefully, I don't got nothing stuck in there. Did that before. It's not fun. Chris is on. Chris is on. Got him. Dude, he was way out there, dude. Another nice one. Good fish, guys. A little fatty. Oh good. I'm gonna I'm gonna need that video. That's good. You gonna buy it from me? No. Ow. Son of a gun. Alright. That's what I'm talking about right there. Snack. Here, throw it in. Oh, that cooler still reeks. <laughs> dude. My gosh, dude. Limited out by damn 8 o'clock. Told you we wouldn't be out long. Out, 
see him, Migo. Oh, it's a grouper. That's why you felt like that. Chris is on. We got a double. He got a snapper though, I think. There it is, guys. Let's get it, baby. If he's a little, he's a real little, go ahead and toss him. Alright guys, we're going for the big one today. He's going back. Go ahead, leave me a hate comment. Big hey, pile on right there. Yep. I never paid attention to it enough to notice that it was two big ones. You know, fun fact about this, this is like one of the first asphalt bridges. I didn't know that they used to all be metal. Who told you that? Who told me that? Uh, the history of the Skyway. <laughs> it don't look like it's that fault. It looks concrete to me. Or maybe it was just con or concrete, whatever. They all used to be made, of, think about it, bridges used to be made out of metal. The know? previous one was. Yeah. So when they did this, they did it out of concrete. It was kind of like a... Holy shit, bro. A revolution. Dude, you're right next to the rock. This place is crazy. Damn. The rocks around here are unbelievable. Look at all this. We're gonna fish right here. I'm spitting peanuts. These are really good. I don't even know, does this have audio like this? It's Gooper. Yeah. Here, hold on, it's, let me plug it.